Hey there. Cancer is a disease that affects most of us at some point in our lives, whether it be a diagnosis of ourselves or someone that we love. Um, in fact, actually, the Cancer Institute says that 38% of men and women will be diagnosed with cancer during their lifetime at some point. So there's been a heap of famous people, um, Rudy Giuliani, Fran Drescher, uh, Martina Navratilova, um, uh, Cheryl Crow, um, Julia, Julia Freya Dreyfus, I think her name is from, from Seinfeld. But yeah, a heap of uh, famous people that have survived cancer and, and people that are not famous as well. Um, I wanted to talk about a 39-year-old guy by the name of Stephen Rick. Um, he'd posted on Facebook that uh, he'd got cancer and uh, went public about it. And there was a, you know, a heap of uh, support which was bolstering. However, it was also overwhelming for him. Um, he had a cancer to-do list. Um, and then, you know, that got added to a, a plain life to-do list as well. So every minute counted um, and was accounted for and, and responding to 20 private messages each day with personalised different versions of how treatment was going uh, was exhausting, especially, you know, um, if the news was not the best. Um, so what he did is he started a blog and uh, just said it really helped. Um, and I came across an article that was actually talking about that and I thought it was quite interesting. Um, so, you know, today cancer patients can um, sort of, and caregivers can have the ability to search the entire planet for those who share their specific diagnosis um, or whose experience mirrors their own. And blogging can open up avenues to connecting with people that are sort of in a similar um, boat or, you know, going through a similar thing, uh, which I think can really help. Um, many who blog about cancer experience their experiences, they'll come to find that, you know, writing provides a service for the cancer community as well. Um, a large percentage of cancer blogs are hosted on, like, cancer-specific sites, such as caringbridge.org, uh, and mylifeline.org, which require readers to create accounts to protect the privacy of the blog's authors. Um, and I came across another thing, which was 25 short stories from like authors, illustrators, um, a TV star, um, an athlete, a fashion designer, and uh, a top business executive, um, which, which uh, you know, just really helps people that are sort of going through it. Um, so if you want that link, just message me. Um, yeah, and, and I think it's a really good one. 25 little short essays on, on that. But yeah, today's International Cancer Day and I just thought it was a really good thing to talk about as it affects a lot of people. And uh, you know, it just, we, we are very lucky, you know, if you're happy and healthy and um, you've got your health, it's, uh, it's the most important thing, you know, health and time is, is so important. Material things uh, can be fun and everything, but um, if you haven't got your health, there's, there's no point in having all that stuff. So I hope you're all well. Uh, Ryan Billy Tate, signing out. Thank you.